Good evening folks, uh, tonight we're going to be doing another AliExpress kit build and I will say it is an electronic heart kit. I know I did say I wasn't going to do any more, um, but this one is slightly different um, in the fact that it's got a sound module on it, it's got jumper settings, it's got an LDR, you know, so it is slightly more interesting than the, the bog standard flashing heart. So I thought we'd, we'd do it, um, Valentine's Day is coming up and it's maybe one to do with the kids, uh, you know, to make a gift for the mum, or their dad I suppose, if, if, if mums are in to electronics um, if you are please comment below um, but yeah I thought we'd, we'd go ahead and build it um, as always fairly cheap this one was uh, 199 so a bit more expensive than the, the normal kits but still still affordable and you know as I say very cheap um, now it doesn't come with any instructions as is quite often the case with these kits from AliExpress uh, and people have been commenting actually saying that it's quite useful to you know see people building these kits you know people have said i wouldn't have been able to to build this and you know had i not uh, watched your video so that's that's quite good uh, for me you know that, that's quite good feedback um but yeah we'll have a look at the pcb first quite a nice glass fiber board um yeah looks like a fairly nice layout um plenty of copper on there anyway um yeah, silk screen. Now, some of the components are not marked, as you'll have noticed. Uh, now, I have uh, got those uh, locations uh, written down for which components should go in there. Um, but yeah, just a bit frustrating, you know, why Why can they not? If they're, if they're putting on the 10k resistors, why can't they just silk screen on, you know, what those values are? It just seems a bit lazy, a bit, you know, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Um, but as you can see, it's not your traditional heart shape. It has been, well, it is in a, in a sense, but it's been cut square. You know, I don't know why they've done that. I don't know if, uh, you know, by cutting it, uh, uh, you know, square, they've they've maybe cut a fraction of a pence off the 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 price of the board. But never mind. Um, but there it's there. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got a little slot there for our uh, sound module, which is just here. Um, what else have we got that's interesting? Not a lot really. Uh, let's see, there's quite a few uh, jumpers on this. And it comes with every, everything you need. Uh, there's a, a socket for the IC. It's an L, um, LM... Is it 239, if I remember rightly? Uh, 393. Um, yeah. Six of each colour of LED. Green, yellow and uh, red. Uh, a few transistors. And not a lot else. We've got a little LDR in there as well. And there's a little... Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a standoff or a spacer, um, which just pops in like so, and that just keeps it sitting proud off the board slightly. But yeah, um, as always, what I'll do is I will stop the video now. I'll go ahead and put the um, resistors and sort of lower profile components in first, and then I'll restart the video and we'll uh, crack on from there. So I'll catch you in a moment. Right folks, welcome back. Right, as you can see, I have put m the majority of the components on there. Uh, quite a nice kit to build, uh, soldered up really easily, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, so the only thing remaining to do is put the speaker on, the sound module, and uh, power to the unit. Um, I've had a look at the silk screen on here, and I can't really figure out these jumpers. It says 1 to 3 BRI, so is that bright and 2 to 4 dark? I'm not sure. Uh, but there is uh, two jumpers fit on here and one on here. Now looking at the back here, uh, my soldering isn't perfect there, but you can see that those two bottom pads there aren't connected. So that's either uh, making or breaking those two top uh, uh, jumpers. So I, I don't know what that's. It may disconnect the speaker. I'm not sure. I haven't traced it out actually. Um, in fact, that's exactly what it's doing. If we look at that trace there, uh, this is the speaker here. So the speaker goes up here. Uh, to this pad here so yeah that's either going to turn the speaker on or off uh, which is good because uh, god knows what it's going to play and how loud it's going to play it so um yeah let's get cracking and get this uh finished off so um i oh something else i should mention as well is r2 and 4 on the image for the kit uh it shows the multiplier as being black but on the resistor supplied it was brown so uh, we've got a uh, green blue uh, uh, green, blue, brown, which is um, uh, 560 ohm, and it should be 56. And we've got a uh, red, red, brown there, so that's 220 ohm, and it should be 22 ohm. So um, I don't know, 
how this is going to work but we'll, we'll give it a try and see it may may be a really bad picture but it, it genuinely does look like the multipliers are wrong on these uh resistors but yeah we'll see what happens it's not the first time we've had uh, the wrong resistors is it um so sound module uh, this is something obviously don't get any instructions but the only resist uh, sorry transistor that was left was uh, an 8050 um, and this goes onto the the sound module itself now it goes uh, with the pads obviously you're going to sort it on the other side so um, with the three transistor pads at the bottom or the holes of the transistor the rounded side should go to the left like so so we just pop those in there like that and we'll bend it um, in fact no I think we'll keep it we'll just keep it like that it doesn't really matter does it so we'll just solder that up and as always we'll just do the centre pad this is quite tricky at this angle we'll just do the centre uh, pad and then see make sure it's uh, aligned okay and that'll do the job and then we can go ahead and finish the other two off in fact I think I'll call in the helping hand here just make things a little bit easier for us Okay, right, take that off. Okay, so we now need to install this into the board. Um, I've said it before, I find these quite satisfying actually to do. But the, the little uh, module just slots into the, uh, the PCB. And hopefully, I'll just test fit this before uh, before we sew that up and make sure there's enough clearance because I may have made a mistake in uh, not folding that up. Nah, nah, we've got enough clearance on there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mechanical joint. Well, it's obviously an electrical joint as well, but uh, between the sound module and the um, the PCB itself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hold that in place um, and try and try and do this. It might actually easy, be easier to use a helping hand uh, to hold a solder. In fact, I think that's probably going to be the best option. And we'll just go ahead and uh, join these boards together. And the same sort of process. Once uh, one pad's in. Oh, one uh, connection's made uh, just check it make sure it's all okay and uh, we can go ahead and and do the rest and I'll just put this in the helping hand just to so you can actually see those joints being made let's see if we can zoom in a little bit there we go You might need quite a bit of solder on here. Uh, just take care, don't apply heat for too long. Because you don't want to damage the, the sound module. Or you may want to damage the sound module. We'll, we'll see what it sounds like first. And there we go. Uh, while we're at it, my speaker's in place, so I might as well just uh, solder that on as well. Okay, so as you can see, they're quite hefty joints. Um, yeah, that will do the job, I think. Okay, right, so I'll zoom out again. Oops, zoom in. So the only thing now is to install the power. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll just put the iron down for a second. Um, 
way this usually works is we'll put the wires through the bottom of the board and we're going to pull them all the way through just to make feeding them back through the holes a lot easier. These come pre-tinned which is nice, pre-stripped uh, pre and pre-tinned. Like so, and we can pull them down to tighten them up, and it should hopefully lock lock those in place, which is good enough there. And we'll solder those up. Like so. And then just as you can see there, if we pull those wires through, I'll just keep them nice and flat. Trim the uh, excess off. Install our LM393. And that should be it ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll power it up um, without any jumpers on and see what it does, if anything. Uh, this isn't the best uh, quality battery holder, as you can probably see. So it initially did flash. Oh, there we go. So we are getting a flashing heart. Let's see if the LDR is doing in just now. Doesn't appear to be. So we'll uh, put the jumpers on. Right, well, first of all, we'll, we'll see what it sounds like. So we're getting happy birthday. Right, let's join the first two, see if that does anything. Hi folks, just a little jump cut there, sorry about that. Um, basically I was waffling on, I was trying to get these jumpers to do what they're supposed to do and they weren't doing anything and it took me a little while to sort of work it out. But basically, um, I've worked it all out now. So yeah, the uh, small jumper on the left basically turns the music on. Uh, the jumpers on the right, uh, in this configuration with one and three made, um, the, the circuit is active, it will play uh, the sound or the music, flash the LEDs uh, all day long. If we move the jumpers to position two and four, if I can just do that there, um, you will see that it doesn't work until it gets dark. So the LDR is basically controlling that. And that does control the... Um, the music as well. Oh, as you can see there, um, the little potentiometer basically adjusts the um, the, the the well adjusts the resistance of the LDR, the, and basically um, it will adjust the uh, sort of light level uh, where the circuit will switch on when it uh, gets uh, dark. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A uh, little kit, yeah, okay, uh, quite nice to build, quite simple to build, um, yeah, again, I know I say it in quite a few of my kits, but it's a good one to get the little little kiddies involved in, uh, in soldering uh, and getting into electronics, um, yeah, not too bad. 199 from AliExpress, I'll uh, pop the link down below. Any anyway, folks, if you enjoyed that, found it interesting, if it helped you build the kit, if you didn't get instructions, uh, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and as always, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can click on my head just about here. Um, and down here there should be uh, another video you might be interested in. Anyway guys, uh, take care of yourselves and until next time, all the best.